Switching churches. A few times my wife and, he, my wife and me have uh, left the church and joined another church. Now I want to give you some advice. You can do with it whatever you want. Yes? But first of all, ask yourself, why? Why do I want to leave this church? Or why do I want to join that church? What are your reasons for leaving this church? Are you angry? Are you disappointed? Do you think there is not a lot, much love over there? Don't take decisions when you are emotionally in a turmoil. When your head is overflowing with all kinds of thoughts and you are angry, there's a lot of things going on. Don't take important decisions in those times. First, ask for forgiveness. Go to all the people, ask for forgiveness. Ask the Lord for forgiveness. Forgive people. The Bible tells us in Romans 12 verse 18, if possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all people. And then you leave the church openly. Don't sneak away. Not like this brother. I asked someone, I haven't seen him for some time already. And then the other person told me, well, he left the church six months ago. Six months ago? I thought he was my brother. Why didn't he greet me? Why didn't he give me a hug and say, I'm leaving this church? Now these people, they are still your brothers and sisters. So if you leave, if you have decided to leave, you go alone. You don't take other people with you, maybe your family, but don't take a whole group of people with you. That's not nice in the kingdom of God. And don't talk bad, don't gossip about your pastor, your church. It's not polite in the kingdom of God. Go on your knees and pray for them, for that leader, for that sister, for that church. So switching churches, leave one church, join another church. It's not something that's easily done. Yes, you have to think about it. And when you're emotionally in a turmoil, don't take decisions. Even though you may be right, wait till emotions have settled. Till your heart is clean and your, heart, and your mind is clear and you have heard from the Lord. Yes, and in all things, trust God. Pray and listen for His voice, to His voice.